The Story of the Phantom of the Opera Since she was a child, Christine Daae, a beautiful girl with blonde hair and blue eyes, traveled around Europe with her father, who was a great musician. Christine loved to sing. Her father used to tell her many stories about the angel of music, the personification of musical inspiration. Christine loved her father's stories, which inspired her to continue to practice her singing. She truly sang beautifully. When they arrived in Paris, Christine met a young boy called Raoul. Since they both loved music, they became great friends. Christine liked Raoul very much, and Raoul felt the very same way about Christine. But her father had to continue his travels around Europe, so Christine had to say goodbye to her dear friend Raoul and resume her journey. After many years had passed, Christine came back to Paris. She had grown into a beautiful woman with a lovely voice, and she was given a position in the chorus at the Paris Opera House, which is called the Palais Garnier. She immediately made an impact with the company because of her stunning looks and heavenly voice. Very soon afterward, she began to hear a hauntingly handsome voice that would give her advice on her singing. Are you the angel of music? Christine asked. I am, the voice replied, and I will teach you a little bit of heaven's music. The voice belonged not to an angel, but to Eric, a strange musical genius who had forever been living in the opera and was also called the Phantom of the Opera by the opera patrons. The days passed, and Christine became more and more enchanted by the mysterious voice that so knowingly taught her to sing better and better. One special night, Christine made her debut on the opera's stage. Christine triumphed at the gala and garnered tremendous applause from the audience. Her old childhood friend Raoul was also there in the audience at the opera and recalled his love for her. Raoul went to meet Christine afterward, and they talked for a long time. They were still very fond of each other. Hidden and watching everything was Eric. Some time after the gala, the Paris Opera performed Faust. But against Eric's will, the lead was to be played by the prima donna Carlotta and not by Christine. Angry with the manager's decision, the phantom haunted Carlotta, who got scared and lost her voice. He then cut the rope of the grand chandelier, which plummeted into the audience. In the middle of the confusion, a masked Eric kidnapped Christine and brought her to the cellars beneath the opera stage where he lived, and there he revealed his true identity to her. The voice of the man behind the mask was charming, and Christine began to find herself attracted to her abductor. Curious, Christine gently approached Eric and unmasked him, but to her horror, his face was the face of a monster. Seeing how scared Christine was of him, Eric ran from her in pain and sadness. The following night, during another production of Faust, suddenly a big cloud of smoke appeared, and the lights went out. Eric jumped onto the stage and again took Christine with him. You shall marry me, Christine, Eric said, or I will destroy the entire opera house and bring it down in ruin. Christine at first refused, but when she remembered Raoul was also in the audience, she agreed to marry Eric. 
as Eric lifted his mask to kiss her on her forehead. He was surprised to receive a kiss from Christine in return. I have never received a kiss, he told her. Not even from my own mother. Overcome by emotion, he told Christine, Go, my angel, and marry Raoul. I know you love him. Christine ran away to her beloved Raoul, whom she married a short time after. She thought of the phantom many times over the years, but he was never to be seen again, although some people say he still wanders the halls of the Paris Opera House. The End